Hey, what is going on, my XRP holders? Uh, still awaiting the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. You know, Judge Torres just taking her sweet, sweet time. I understand it's a big, uh, big decision to make here in the non-existent crypto regulatory landscape. Speaking of the non-existent crypto regulatory landscape, uh, guys, some big news has come out that um, they are trying to get rid of Gary Gensler. Now, I'm just going to tell you right now, this is nothing set in stone. This is no new law that actually came into place, but. There was a big tweet that was put out by Congressman Warren Davidson, and this started with the uh, chief digital officer at like Coinbase or something, quoting something from Commissioner Hester Pierce. And Commissioner Hester Pierce is basically saying that like, okay, hey, well, uh, you got these entrepreneurs, these innovators are trying to build new technologies and do great things and take big risks and develop new technology. And... There is no regulatory adaptation to that new technology. Then the you know that guy from Coinbase was just championing this and saying, "Hey, this really hits right at home." Then Congressman Warren Davidson comes in, and again, guys, like I know you see the title and everything. It's nothing set in stone. Gary Gensler's not fired right now or tomorrow or this month or anything like that. But the fact that the crypto war has gotten so big and so out of hand, where they're just going after like every company in the crypto space. And they're not stopping. Just today, they file a lawsuit against Bittrex for violating, you know, federal security statutes, right? And then also the chief executive officer is also facing char charges as well, the former one. It's just like, dude, the SEC, they're getting so out of line here. And then what's funny is like when they come after the Bittrex, right? Let me read this article right here. It's like the SEC enforcement director, I can't pronounce his name, but he says that uh, this should send a message to other non-compliant cryptocurrency market intermediaries. It's like, well, dude, has crypto intermediaries being compliant with the SEC? Has that ever achieved anything? Like, no, no. Library, they actually went to the SEC and they were transparent. And they opened up their books and they showed the SEC what they're doing. The SEC tells them, turn around, drop down, you know, drop your pants and spread them because that's what we're going to do here. We're the SEC. We're not your friend, right? So it's like, it, it's absolutely just like, it's insane the level of like trying to go after everybody at one time is mind blowing. And I feel like the entire cryptocurrency ecosystem has kind of had enough of this. And you guys got to understand, you know, the political game, this guy, Warren Davidson, he's a pro crypto congressman, you know, he probably gets a little funding, little kickbacks from some, uh, you know, cryptocurrency funds and things like that to vote for laws that are, you know, in favor of cryptocurrency. So uh, not to beat around the bush too much here, but Warren Davidson comes out and says, yep, to correct a long series of abuses, right? Abuses, okay? Absolute tirade that they've been going on. I'm introducing legislation that removes the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission and replaces the role with an executive director that reports to the board, parentheses, where authority resides. Former chairs of the SEC are ineligible, including Gary Gensler. So. This is, again, nothing set in stone. This is all just hearsay and talk, but this is a congressman introducing legislation to kind of reconstruct the way the Securities and Exchange Commission works, where instead of having, you know, one guy with all the power and having basically like a dictatorship, uh, they're going to restructure it to executive director that has to report to a board, which makes it a little more decentralized, I would say, but I mean, it's still government, so you can't really call it decentralized, but it's a little more decentralized than what we have now, which is Gary Gensler uh, swinging his fists at absolutely everybody. Kraken, Bittrex, Ripple, Library, fucking Kick Token. I don't know, the other, several other companies they keep going after. It's like they're literally going after everybody all at once, going all in, you know, great use of our taxpayer dollars, stifling innovation, and, you know, send the innovation offshores. But it's like, they're kind of getting a plan going right now where it sounds like they want to get rid of Gary Gensler. I mean, you know, you get a little, 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 little Gary, little no clarity Gary. He already tried his little, you know, his Kim Kardashian lawsuit stunt that fucking didn't do anything at all. It ended up getting dismissed later. So it's like, I think the whole entire space has had enough. I understand his XRP holders were not fond of Bitcoin holders, not fond of Ethereum holders. But at the end of the day, we're all in crypto. We thought that like SEC was playing favorites with Ethereum. They were. Now the SEC comes out later and says, well, everything except Bitcoin is a security. Now calling Ethereum a security. And it's just like, you know, then, then, and then the SEC, they go after the staking services, which right when Ethereum switches over from proof of work to proof of stake. Now they're doing this whole thing. So it's like the SEC, they have gone after quite literally everybody. So in a sense, the enemy of my enemy 
is my friend. I think that's how the situation's going right now. And yeah, a congressman announces two days ago that he's introducing legislation to fucking remove Gary Gensler. That doesn't even seem like real life right there. But guys, Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. I know, man. I know. I know. We're all just waiting here, twiddling our thumbs. And, you know, the SEC and Ripple, even though everything's all done, filed and brief, they keep, you know, you know, throwing these little letters and supplemental authority notices back and forth at each other, which don't do anything but try to, you know, convince the judge to swing one way or another. But guys, just hang in there. We're almost done with this fucking battle, okay? We're already battling enough as it is on the charts, but it's just we got to get over this hoop of the the SEC lawsuit and finally break this big 50 cent, 50, 50, 60 cent resistance range because it's like, guys, it's like absolutely tiring how long this lawsuit has still been going on and how the kind of regulatory space, or I should say the SEC, you know, going after everybody, how big it's increased since Ripple. So guys, uh, hang in there. Congressman Warren Davidson, all the power to him, trying to get rid of Gary Gensler, reconstruct the, the power dynamic of leading the SEC. So interesting stuff there, guys. Anyways, appreciate you tuning in the video today. See you in the next one.